look if it isn't another future underappreciated healthcare hero in the form of x-ray student back again to learn about Brem Strelong versus characteristic radiation. Welcome back to another episode of, I don't know how this works, but somehow it does, featuring me, the unhinged x-ray professor. Yes, Brem's and characteristic radiation are the interactions that have been at the x-ray tube. This dynamic duo is responsible for your beams and your breakdowns of the mental health variety. Bremstrelong, German for breaking radiation. Basically, your electrons can't drive. They come flying out of the filament like they just saw their student loan balance. Aim straight for the nucleus, and then realize, oh crap, positive charge, and yank the wheel at the last second. They slam on the brakes, lose energy, and spit out a photon. Like, here, take this before I explode. Every time they break differently, you get a different photon energy. Congratulations, you've created a continuous spectrum, also known as the radiation equivalent of a bag of mystery skittles. Now let's talk about characteristic radiation, the x-ray equivalent of a clean kill. That same electron walks in like, I'm not dodging this time. It yeets out an inner shell electron, usually from the K-shell, and evicts that motherfucker. Gone. Goodbye. Now, the whole shit is like, on balance, so an outer shell electron's like, ugh, fine, I'll fix it, and it drops down, and that drop releases a photon with a specific energy, because it's based on tungsten's electron binding levels. A shell-to-shell -shell drop is going to equal a discrete photon. This one is neat, predictable, and a little bit terrifyingly efficient. So, Bremstrelong, random energy, continuous spectrum, happens constantly characteristic, specific energy, discrete spikes, only above 69.5 keV for tungsten. Basically, Bremstrong is the unhinged intern doing 90% of the work and characteristic is the overachiever cleaning it up for the final report. Together, they make the diagnostic image that somehow works even though everything about this process screams like this should be illegal. So x-rays, they're born from electrons that can't aim and tungsten atoms that are just done. So the most important thing to know about Bremstrelong and characteristic radiation is they are the two interactions that happen at the x-ray tube. And if you forget that, you might as well just dig your grave at a Pearson View testing center and call it a night.